What's going on, guys? We're here about a day shy of three weeks out from the uh, 2013-0. We're going to uh, hit some chest, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's uh, second year in a row. Uh, being fortunate enough to step on stage at the Olympia, and uh, I, I qualified a few weeks ago in Tampa. Kind of a, one of the one of the last opportunities to qualify, so uh, thank God I was able to squeak it in. And uh, let's go inside and uh, get going. I want to introduce my buddy here, Jeff Logan. Hey, Jeff. How you doing? <laughs> He's, uh, 24 years old, he's getting ready, he's gonna be doing his first contest in a couple months. And uh, obviously, as you guys can see, big kid, strong, reliable, he always shows up. And, um, you know, that's all you can ask for in a, in a trainer partner. So, he motivates me, I motivate him. And, uh, well, you'll see firsthand. We'll warm up with the fly machine. You guys in advance if the workout's a little slow to begin today. I, uh, I woke up this morning, I get it well. You'll see when I put a tank top on, a big blotch of red right here. I don't know if it's a little, you know, slight tear from something I did, so it's a little sore. So, in the name of being cautious, I'm just gonna go a little easy. As long as everything feels cool, then we'll, you know, step it up a bit as the workout goes on. Prep this year has been really, really smooth. It's the first time in a couple of years I've worked with somebody and uh, Chris Aceto has been helping me out and um, taking a lot of stress off, that's, that's for certain. It's a, lot, um, it's a lot more assuring having someone there kind of telling you, okay, yeah, take it easy or usually, usually for me it's all right, you know, chill out a little bit because I got a tendency to kind of be a little gung-ho. So that's been a huge, huge help to me. Obviously, he's an incredibly knowledgeable guy, good guy, so that's been awesome. The prep's been smooth. I mean, I think now, let's see, I started dieting 14 weeks out from Tampa, and the Olympia will, is, was seven weeks from Tampa, so by the time it's all said and done, you know, it'll be 21 weeks, which is, you know, definitely longer than I've ever dieted, but I feel pretty good. I'm starting to feel a little, you know, a little tired of it, but whatever. That's, that's bound to happen. Come on, hard point, come on, hit! Come 
what's your strategy as far as like you're going to be peaking twice in seven weeks? Are you guys uh, kind of approaching in a different way since it's so close together? Yeah. This is something pretty new to me because I've done back-to-back -back shows before. And in 2011, I did the Flex Pro, and then two weeks later was the Arnold. So it was really it was like by the time I got home from the Arnold, okay, go back in the gym, do some cardio. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of time to do, you know, to do much. You just kind of go back, get back on stage. With this one, it was seven weeks between Tampa and the Olympia. Um, they're probably left to my own discretion. I've probably just gone back to, you know, dieting the way I was dieting prior to Tampa and doing the cardio. And then Chris was like, no, don't do any cardio. And he just really bought my calories way, way up. I think I've been having hamburgers every day, every training day since Tampa, no cardio. Well, waffles for breakfast, the things that I would just never have the guts to do on my own. But it's really, it's, it's worked out good and I've actually, I'm probably the same weight, maybe a little bit higher than I was at the same, I'm three weeks now prior to the Olympia, three weeks prior to Tampa. I'm probably a pretty comparable weight, but I feel like I look really different. So I can only imagine if I didn't have the guts, you know, if I didn't have Chris there to tell me to do that, I'd probably be significantly smaller and um, less impressive. And then by the time the Olympia gets here, forget it. So yeah, luckily <laughs> I've had Chris here to help me. of ground turkey, two cups of white rice, five waffles with syrup, um, and uh, two two muffins. <laughs> and I probably, probably I could have eaten that whole thing all over again. Uh, I don't know. I feel good. I got a good pump. I'd hope so with that many carbs. <laughs> on some, uh, maybe some incline barbell press. I changed my mind, we're gonna do some flat. You know, take that spot.
going. Some um, the inclined dumbbells. Just so you guys don't think I'm bullshitting you, I woke up this morning. And I saw that, and I didn't even know how it happened. Um, because it's really, you know, I haven't trained chest in a week. And um, the only thing I could think of was two days ago, my last training day, we did some dips at the end of the workout. So maybe it's just something, you know, kind of superficial, because it really doesn't hurt. But when I saw it this morning, I'm like, ah, uh, I was kind of weary knowing that today's chest day. So, but so far, everything feels great. So. Agenda for today. What are you going to do today? Besides work out. After the gym. After I finish training, I'm going to eat. I'm going to go practice some posing. I'm going to eat again. I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat again. I'm going to hang out with my daughter. And then by that time, it'll be time to eat again. <laughs> hang out with her a little more, put her to bed. And then eat again. And I sit down and watch some TV with my wife. And go to bed. And get up and eat again. <laughs> I'm gonna drop down to 110.
One more set here, and then um, probably cable crossover. Maybe finish with like a light, light hammer press or something like that. What do you think, Jeff? Cable crossover or something? You know what, light incline hammer? Yeah, or flat, whatever. Finish up on the hammer press. It's really, really light. Just all, just a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze.
Some, uh, some updated progress photos to send to Chris, that way we could uh, both stay on the same page. I really want to thank you guys for watching my segment um, for Battle Olympia 2013. And um, see you guys at the Olympia. I want to give a big, big thank you to Universal Nutrition and to Muscular Development for enabling me to full on pursue um, my passion in life. I, uh, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. Battle for the Olympia, 2013.